Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials video 110. It's on wave diffraction, which is the bending of waves as they move around an obstacle or through an opening. And so you can imagine these are water waves here moving from left to right, and this is an obstacle put in their path. And so as these ones on the top, they just keep going and going and going, but these ones right here are being diffracted. They're slightly bending around that obstacle. If we look down here, as they move through an opening, diffraction occurs as well. We're seeing that diffraction of these waves on this side. But there's not a lot of diffraction going on. And the reason why is the obstacle is much bigger than the wavelength. What happens if we make that obstacle or that opening the size of the wavelength or smaller? We get true diffraction. So what's happening is we're bending and we get these concentric circles that are moving out from there. Now wave diffraction is going to occur if we have an opening for water waves like this, but all waves can be diffracted, even light. So if we put diffraction grating, small slits, we can actually diffract light and break it into its different uh, constituent parts. And so wave diffraction occurs when we have either an obstacle or we have some kind of an opening. And as the waves hit the obstacle, they'll bend slightly around it. So an obstacle can diffract waves and also a slit. So as it moves through, we're gonna see a slight amount of diffraction as well. It's bending around that opening. But what happens if we take that slit and we make it the size of lambda, the size of the wavelength, what you get is true diffraction that's gonna look like that. So what's an example of this? Let's say that you are here and somebody is talking in another room. Can you hear them talking? Yeah, and that's because the sound waves are relatively large. As they move through the door, they're going to be diffracted. So you can hear what they're saying. It might not be super loud, but you can still hear it. Now, can you see them around the corner if you're in a different room? No. Even though light can be diffracted, look at our opening. Our opening is so big compared to the wavelength of the light that it's not bending around that corner. Good way to see wave diffraction is to use a ripple tank. And so what you do is put a table that has water in it. You then have a motor that just goes up and down. And as it goes up and down, this board oscillates and that creates waves that move out. You can shine light through it and then we could take a picture on the bottom. And so this is what it would look like where you have these waves that are being created. And then you could see this gap. So they're moving right through this gap right here. And so you de see diffraction on the other side. Now the size of that gap is important. If you've got a gap that's really, really large in relation to the wavelength, small diffraction, but if we decrease it to around the size of the wavelength, then we're gonna get true diffraction. Here's a little PHET simulation of that. So we're generating some waves on the left side, water waves, and we're seeing diffraction over here. You can see it bend around. But watch what happens as we make that smaller and smaller and smaller. Look at that. We're getting more and more diffraction around that obstacle. Same thing with an opening. We don't have much diffraction on the edges of that. But watch what happens as we decrease the size and then we get it close to a wavelength. Then we're starting to get true diffraction. So this occurs for water waves. This could be a speaker on the left that's generating sound waves. You can see we've got diffraction of those sound waves as they move through that opening. And we'd also find that we're gonna have wave diffraction if we're looking at light. So we're generating light. If we can make that opening so it's around the size of the wavelength of the light, again, with light it's gonna to have to be really, really small, then we can get diffraction. We could even see it in the wild. So we've got right here waves coming in on the ocean. There's a little opening right here and you can see that diffraction as it moves through that little gap in the water. And so did you learn to make claims about the diffraction pattern? That's the pattern created as we move through a small opening. Again, we wanna match the wavelength and I hope that was helpful.